Right guys, so just started to edit the video. Do not hate on the video if there is a little bit of wind. I had a little bit of a nightmare. I plugged my microphone into the headphone part on my camera. So, absolute nightmare what I've just done there. But please don't hate on the video, guys. Um, so, sorry if you hear a little bit of wind. Right then, mate, let's get ready. You're gonna get on. Thing. So, what's up, YouTube? Tom Palmer here. Today, I'm down at Cop Teeth Golf Club. I've got Mike Bailey's down here, professional golfer down here. So, it's gonna be a little bit of a battle. We're gonna do a three hole on course vlog to see who's gonna come out top. So, what holes are we gonna play then, Mike? Uh, 10, 11, 15, par 5. 10, 11, 15, so two par fours, and then the last hole's gonna be a par five. So it's gonna be a battle. 50 pound money match, let's see who's gonna come out on top. Mike's got a little bit of a home advantage because Cop Teeth's his club, uh, so let's get started. So Mike has took the tiger line there, he's gone straight over the top of the trees. He should be bang on there, so shouldn't leave himself long left in, to be honest. Right then, is he gonna take the same line? Probably not because I hit a bit further. So I'm going to go driver as well. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to go somewhere just a little bit to the right. I'm not taking on as much as Mike because obviously he's got a bit of course knowledge. <laughs> Swing. Same line. So it should be pretty similar there to be fair. So mine went a little bit more left than Mike's did, but hopefully we'll get down there and both be able to have a nice shot onto the green. So just found my ball, it is just down here. It looks like I've just clipped the trees on the left hand side. Obviously Mike being Mike managed to fly the trees over there. It's a little bit further than I have. I just clipped the trees and dropped down. I don't have long left. I've got 102. How far you got Mike? 86. 86, so he's 10, 15 past me. So 102 yards out. I'm going to play a 54. Flags look very appetising to go at. Tell you what, good. Oh, sniffed it. I'm in pretty close. Down to Mike now. Pressure's on. Tell that 50 quid's coming already. Hey, what, that's a great shot. Go on. Yeah, great shot, a little bit of backspin there. Both pretty tight now, so both got a really good chance at birdie. What do you hit there, Mike? Uh, three quarter 54. Three quarter 54, play that little knockdown one, really nice and stiff into the flag. So let's go up there, see if either of us can hold these puts. So both hit our shots in pretty stiff here. I've got a slight advantage. I've got a roughly around five, six foot mark. We've got around 10, 12 foot back there. Uh, but both of us landed the ball nice and high onto the green. Landed really softly. Uh, Mark's gonna go first anyway, see if he can hold his putt. We're keeping the flags in, coronavirus today. So uh, <laughs> we are gonna keep the flags in today. Uh, let's see if he can hold his putt. Close. Greens are really quick today, so they're rolling really, really good. Um, so credit to Cop Teeth Green staff. 
Yep. Good put. So Mike down for a four. Over hit that just a little bit. So advantage me. So one under through the first hole. It's gonna be close though. I can already tell. Bunkers either side of the fairway. Are two Should twenty. They really get in our way. Will we clear them? What the bunkers? We're gonna get over the top. Or... Yeah. So should we'll we get over them? them. I'm gonna try and get this ball as far down as possible. Leave myself the shortest possible shot I can into this green. Hopefully, if I can get another hundred yards. Uh, I can try and get another birdie. Get myself another one in front. Thing. Very good. Like that one. That isn't going to leave me long left at all. Flight. That is really good. It's you wouldn't even top. believe it is March, isn't it? Yep. The sun's shining. It's a really nice day out here today. Uh, it's around 12, 13 degrees. It's actually quite nice. Mm -hmm. Sound like a weather, man. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to move on down to the ball. Right, so I have just finished just down there. I don't know if you can see my ball. Mike is another 15 yards ahead of me. Again, don't know what's happening there. He's obviously been hitting the gym. I've been isolating. Don't know. Hitting it out the middle. Yeah, probably, to be fair, I, I, to be fair, I did hit mine out the middle, so I just probably need to get the gym myself. But I've got, I need to have a little look how far I've got. Hundred and thirty-two yards. My bush is telling me though it's playing a little bit longer, so it's playing actually one forty. So I'm gonna probably hit between a knockdown nine or a four wedge. What do you reckon? Plays at least a club longer than Sunbelt. Probably going to go with the nine, then judging by that. So, let's give it a go. Mike's in a good spot there. Should just be left side of the green there. Hopefully, that will be okay. I know we've got a testy putt. I've played this hole before. It is not nice leaving myself a downhill putt, especially on these quick greens. However, I'm hoping I can get a nice two putt from there, give myself a chance at the birdie. So, Mike, you going up to your ball anyway, you're miles up there. Still, I'm one ahead of Mike, so it's advantage me, realistically. He might hit the ball a little bit longer than me, but it doesn't matter if you get the ball in the hole in less shots. So flight looked good there for Mike. He looks like he's put himself in a really good position. He's probably going to have about 10, 12 foot, Mike, you reckon? Around that, yeah. Around 10, 12 foot for birdie. Mine's going to be a little bit longer than his. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Right, guys, so just got to the green. I've got about 25 foot. I think you can just see my ball on the right-hand side of the green. And Mike's is somewhere behind Mike, I think, somewhere down here. So Mike's got a lot shorter put than I have. So hoping i've got a really tricky put from where i am i'm hoping i can get a nice two put because it's downhill it's running away from me it's gonna be very quick i'm being attacked by a bee uh <laughs> don't know what's happening there uh but we're gonna give it a go hopefully i can hold this put if not i want a two put to be honest with you get onto the next hole staying at one under par uh, but you reckon you've got yours absolutely you've got a downhill right to left so a bit tricky for mine It's 
needed that one, needed that one for the camera. So all square again now. Yeah. What a put that was from yours. Thanks mate. Uh, you're quite good at those downhill braking puts. So we've just jumped across onto the 15th hole. Uh, long par fives, talk us through the hole a little bit more then. Uh, it's a long par five, slightly into a thing. Um, it's dog leg right, so, it's a pretty tight second shot. Yeah, it's a good, I'll, strong par five. I don't think I'm going to be able to get there in two, personally. Uh, you might be able to if you're a good driver, three would. But it's going to play long. Uh, you can see the bunker right down the middle of the fairway, just down there. Don't think it's possible to even get there today. Obviously, it's still a little bit soft out on the course. Uh, but I'm looking strong at my ball somewhere down the left because that will open up the fairway. Just through my TP. Uh, that will open up the fairway so I can have a shot in towards the green. So you going first, saying obviously you made birdie. Uh, only fair. Throw my TP everywhere. <laughs> what I'm doing there. High draw, smack bang down the middle of the fairway. It's a great shot that is. Plugged. Just stopped as well, yeah, plugged exactly where it landed. So I'm gonna go driver, hopefully get this ball somewhere down the left hand side. Swing. That's good. Yeah, pretty happy with that to be fair. Uh, straight down the middle again. Mike's probably going to be another 10, 15 yards past me, but we're all square. Uh, we might play a few more holes depending on how we're getting on. If we're all square, we might jump on and play a few more to finish up with. What hole are we on now? 50? Yeah. So what we could do, if we're all square after this one, what we'll do is we'll jump on to holes 16, 17 and 18 and just finish up back towards the club base. Um, but it's going to be a tight game, guys. Boom. So, nice shot down the middle. Mike's just again another 10 15 past me. I think moral of the story is yeah, I'm going to have to start hitting the gym. Uh, I'm going to take my time. I'm getting it's hot, hot now. Hot. Yeah, I'm getting boiling hot. Look at this. Still got my base layer on because it was quite cold uh, when I got here this morning. But I've got. Well, I don't even know how far I've got. Let me have a little look, see how far I've got left. You've got good. Good. 300. 300? Yeah. 300. Good. 280. 300. 262. So, got 260. Miles off there, Just a little. Uh, so, I've got 260 to the flag. It's a tough shot. Um, I'm contemplating whether to just lay up or try and leave myself a pitch shot. Um, my angle's actually opened up really nice, but I just don't think I'm gonna get there. What would you reckon? Contemplating just getting it. The centre gears, we just move one up and then have a pitch shot. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna hit a seven iron down there. So just gonna hit a seven iron down there. Hopefully gonna leave myself roughly 100 yards. I quite like that yardage, to be honest. Anything around 100 yards, I feel like it's a nice confident shot that I've got. Anything under that is a, it gets a little bit testier for me. So I'm gonna hit that seven iron. My line is pretty much the bunker over here, just straight over the top of that. Anywhere down there would be a fantastic shot. Just gotta avoid that one on the right hand side. there so avoided that one on the right hand side it's gone down there one of the best of strikes but he's put me in the, the right position that's all i was after with that sort of shot uh what are you gonna do mike uh, probably gonna go for the green you think he's going for it oh you what a little bit left hit the tree got a little left but in terms of strike strike was great yeah Hit three wood. What's your thought process with the three wood? What if, you, if people are watching back at home and they struggle to hit the three wood off the deck? 
what tip could you give them that would obviously help them out a little bit? Uh, just make sure my ball positions forward a little bit more and just really commit to it. Yeah, I think I see a lot of that. People obviously pull a three without the bag and not confident over the shot they've got already. Just want to chop down on it. Most yeah, people. they tend up hitting down on it. The strikes usually not great. They're probably better off just taking an iron, really, aren't they? Yeah. Um, but in terms of hitting that three wood, like Mike said, move that ball position right the way forward into stance. Just going to really encourage you to get that right contact on the golf ball. Uh, but we'll jump down there anyway. I'm going to have 100. Mike's just clip the trees on the left hand side. He hasn't got long left in at all. He'll we'll have a nice little pitch shot in. So, as you can see, Tom down here, somewhere here, he's got 95 yards front pin. Uh, pretty straightforward shot, to be honest. How good do these greens look, by the way? A bit into wind as well. Touch long, nearly hit the camera. It's on the green safe though. Good shot. Oh, it's a great shot. Stiffed it. So Mike's ball's finished pretty stiff. He's finished right next to the hole. Mine's a little bit further out. I've got a very tricky downhill put. So looking at it, I've got like a downhill sloping. Looks, right to left. Yeah, it looks a little right to left to me. So downhill sloping, right to left put. Long put this is. And judging by the looks of things, Mike's probably gonna hold here. So it's a little bit worrying to be honest. Not that much of a tapping. All right, so okay, it was a little bit of a tapping. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go up to my ball now. Hopefully I can get mine pretty close because Mike's made a very, very nice birdie on this hole. So he's two under now, so he's not really making it easy for me at all. Uh, but let's give it a go. That looks very good. Oh. <laughs> How was that? I'll tell you what, I should have hold. I can't believe that's not gone in, to be honest with you. I mean, look, it's not even a putter's width apart. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. 442. 442, hole number 16 down at Copteed. Just like to say as well, the course is in great condition. Good ball, probably took out a little bit too much, I reckon. Uh, but it was a good shot, good strike on it. Did move round to the left hand side a bit. Not very good. Not happy with that? No. No? Stay there, that's good. Go. Not I bad. just clipped it, didn't I? I clipped it the last little bit. Might have just a little bit. The last few branches. No excuses, I should be doing better than that. Uh, Mike is just there to the left of the tree. 181 into win. I'm going to hit a smooth four iron, keep it low. Do it in drive a four iron into par fours, especially when you hit the ball a decent distance. It's a very tough hole. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll get right up behind Mike so we can actually see what happens with the ball. Tough shot. Yeah, he's a real tough shot, isn't he? Chipping I mean, strike-wise was good. Yeah, it was good. Oh. <laughs> Nearly. What on earth is that? <laughs> Terrible pitch shot. Judge that completely wrong. Screaming bogey, this is now. Screaming. So Mike's pretty much finishing someone's back garden, but he's actually got away with it. Uh, he's not far off at all. He's only just finished right side of the green, so I've got to get mine up and down to try and even make a bogey. If I can get close to the next one, I'll walk away with the bogey. To be fair, I would have took a bogey looking at this hole to start off with. It, Very it's tough a tough part. shot. I mean, to make a par, you've got to play it really well. Um, but you're in a good spot anyway. Let's have a look at how you get on. So, right, Mike, talk them through. Uh, what your club choice is and what you're actually thinking with this sort of shot. What goes through your mind when you've got an uphill chip shot just right of the green? Balls looks like it's sitting okay, um, but 
What's your thought process? I mean, tell the guys back at home. Um, this is my go-to anyway. It's probably not the best thing to do, but 58 degree lob wedge. Uh, so um, I've got about 35 feet of green to work with. I want to get the ball sort of getting up there slightly on the incline. Yeah, so you probably, with this shot, you've got to probably throw it a little bit further or you're going yeah. to play it further back in your stance and put no, it out No, I'm probably going to play it a little bit further up the green. Up the green. So, yeah. I mean, some people use a 58 degree but put the ball further back to let it release up there a little bit. Mm. You're obviously going to throw this a little bit further at the yeah. flag. So, all right, let's see how he gets on with it. That was a great shot. In terms of the way he played that, he actually played it without obviously knowing. He kept that ball a little bit further back in his stance and he kept it that little bit lower. Yeah. It still checked up a little bit more because he's got less lo oh, more loft on his club. So it checked up a little bit. Didn't release out loads. You can trust the distance but, it's going to land a little yeah, bit Yeah, you, you threw it up there a little bit. Got that little bit of spin. He, you could really attack that flag that he hit up there. But really good shot. He's left himself with a really good par opportunity there. So good shot, Mike. Yeah, nice. Hey, well done. Good put. Just chomping on that flapjack. <laughs> <laughs> Starving. Uh, right, so we are on hole number 17 now. Talking through the hole then, Mike, what we got? Uh, pretty straightforward hole, really. It's just straight as you see it. Uh, tough tee shot. Got to get it in play, can't go left or right. Um, so it's just yeah. a flick from there. So, not the longest one that we've got, not the longest one we've played. I'm going to go with the three iron. You've got your three, three wood out. So, I've got a bit of a task to get on now. I'm back to level par. What are you? Two under. Two under. So, I'm two behind Mike then. Two holes left to play. I could do with a miracle, to be honest, I think. Um, You'll be all right. Sure. Hopefully, get one back on here. If he can drop a shot, I'll make a birdie. Or everything can change. So, it is nice and easy, it's straight down there. You can see the hole going towards the bunker. Hopefully that's the line that I managed to hit my shot on. So we'll see how we get on with it. Great ball. Nice little toey draw, I reckon there, mate. Oh, oh. What, so that's just added another 30 yards onto your shot. <laughs> There's a path that runs across. If you hit it, your ball's finished, but it does go about 40 yards further. So it's all right for some then, yeah? Yeah. It's all right. It's fine now. Yeah, it should be all right there. Just up the right-hand side. Should leave me a short shot in, to be fair. How far do you reckon I'll we'll have left in from there? 140. So 140, not long at all. Golf shot. Tell you what, that's that pin was eye. Worldy, that was ripped. Pin eye, 50 degree. Boom. Gets up there. Sharp. Right. Happy with this that. is starting to become a little bit frustrating. Uh, <laughs> put myself in a good birdie position. Mike puts it closer. Wherever I put it, he seems to get it inside me. Uh, but no great shot there, Mike. Really, really good. Um, Hopefully I can hold mine. Got downhill, left to right. Uh, probably somewhere just inside your ball, isn't it? I think if I set it up left lip. Yeah, somewhere around there. Ball feeds back down into the hole. Don't want to hit with too much pace. I see a lot of people doing this. They'll end up hitting, again, I know I did it earlier, but I see a lot of people having quick green, downhill put, leaving himself a tricky six footer. Yeah. I did it earlier, and again. So did I. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's frustrating because you can end up having a three put and again that just really ruins your round don't it you get a good shot onto the green you walk away three put in there's nothing more frustrating than that for me i think hitting good shots and then three back in yeah there's no excuses there so i mean confidence, yeah so i mean in terms of the shot i'm going to have i'm going to try and just make sure that if the ball doesn't go in the hole i want it finishing really close to the hole so my next puts a nice easy tapping 
don't want to leave myself a tough one back. So we'll see how we get on anyway. Need to start doing something though, otherwise Mike is going to run away with it. Again, um, that's two now. The ball's finished literally that far away from the hole. It's finished right smack bang behind it. Um, bit frustrating, nice easy tapping at least. Like I said, don't want to leave myself that tough put on the way back. Worst case scenario, it was a par. Um, might have got this for birdie. For him, he can afford to be a, not more aggressive, but he wants that ball dropping in the hole. Yeah, good put. Never really in danger when you stiff it to sort of five foot. Nice easy put again, easy birdie again. What's that put you to? Three under. So he's gone three under, I'm level par. I mean, there's not much you can do against that at the moment, is there? You need a hole in one and a par four. Hole in one, par four. Or if I can make eagle, you make bogey, it yeah. is game on. So don't worry, I'm going for this eagle on this next one. Booming drive next to the green. Let's see if I can pitch it in. Right, so last hole now, Mike is ahead by three shots. It's difficult, I mean, I've got a hard task ahead of me, but my only goal, trying to make eagle, got to rely on Mike trying to make a bogey somehow. It's not long either, I think 300 yard, par four, it might happen. Um, <laughs> it, it might do, miracles might happen as well. Uh, but, gonna hit my driver, there's only one shot you can do here. Straight down, you might be able to see the flagpole in the distance, actually. Um, that is the line, isn't it? Yeah. Straight at that. Or right's the, right's the leave. Yeah, if you're going to miss it anywhere, probably right at the flag's probably the best spot to be in. So, uh, Mike's going to go first, as he just made another birdie. Alright, it's oh, up the right. okay there. That's I thought the going to hit the clubhouse then for a second. Good shot. Not like I was doing the Yoki Koki on the way through. Loops than the spider on that one, mate. Spider, <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> yeah, it's a good leave. Good leave. Decent position, game on. Mike has nearly finished in the clubhouse. Again, you've nearly been this one's garden. Mm. Now it's the clubhouse. Uh, but you've actually got a fantastic line into the green there. How far you got? Got about 50 yards. 50 yards, so not long pitch shot. Um, put himself in a good opportunity though to make another birdie. You're three under, I am level. Um, so we on. Yep, up and down. Great shot that is. One. You're joking. <laughs> Unplayable currently. Um, how far did you say that is? 50 yards. The putt. The putt. Oh, the putt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, foot. Yeah, so put himself to foot, two foot. I mean, there's not much I can do from this point. But we'll move up to mine. Hopefully, I can get mine somewhere inside Mike's this time. All about short game, mate. Talk us through it. So, gonna go with the 50 4 degree. Um, as soon as we get it over the top of that little hump there, I find that the ball's probably gonna release out a little bit. Yeah, agree with so that. Downhill to the pin. Um, yeah, I mean, anywhere near Mike's would be a good shot. Let's see how we get on. Yeah, not bad. It's frustrating, uh, but yeah, we'll take it. Mike's got a nice, easy little tap in now. Uh, not hard, really, is it, to make a birdie from there. Super simple. That puts you to what, four under? Yeah. So, four under, how many holes we played? Six. Uh, six, yeah. Six holes, four yeah. under. I mean, 
there's not really much you can do against that, is there? Not really. Uh, no. We've got to try and get this put though. Wish it was like that all the time. Love that. Love that. Yeah, pretty happy with that to be fair. I mean, there's not much more I could have done from that position. Pretty happy. I shot one under. Mike's just been uh, played a fantastic game, haven't you? Coronavirus touch. Uh, yeah, no touching hands. Self-isolating. Right, guys. So, six holes we played on the course. Mike, fantastic performance there, mate. Four under par. I mean, yeah, good. Yeah, I think, I think you've had a very good round there. I mean, if a couple of more pop puts of mine had dropped, might have been a different story, but played really well, mate, really solid. So hopefully, guys, you've enjoyed watching the video. Hopefully, uh, you've already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Like the video as well. Uh, drop me a comment on any of my videos because you are in with the chance of winning a brand new Spider S putter or a Spider X completely up to you. As soon as I get to a 1,000, I will do a lucky dip on that. But, guys, make sure to stay tuned for the next video. See you all soon. See you in a bit.